In some cases, the Windows 11 upgrade not showing up in Windows Update in Windows 10 even you've installed all latest updates. First, download and install the PC Health Check app from Microsoft to check if the computer is meet the requirements for Windows 11. As you can see, this computer meets Windows 11 requirements. To in-place upgrade to Windows 11 without any data loss, first, visit the official Windows 11 download site. Download the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Open the downloaded file. Follow the instruction to upgrade to Windows 11 automatically. Downloading Windows 11. Installing updates. It could take one hour to complete. Please be patient. As you can see, the Windows has been upgraded to Windows 11 without any data loss. Additionally, after upgrading to Windows 11, you have 10 days to go back to Windows 10. If more than 10 days pass, you'll need to perform a clean installation, which will erase your files and programs. To go back, open Windows Settings. Select System. Select Recovery. Choose Go Back. Select No Thanks to skip the update check. If your password has changed, make sure you remember your Windows 10 password. Finally, click Go Back to Windows 10. Your computer will restart and restore your previous version. As you can see, the system has reverted to Windows 10 and the data and installed apps still remain. In some cases, if the computer doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirements. If you try upgrading with the Windows 11 installation assistant, you'll get a warning and won't be able to continue. From Windows Update, the option to upgrade also won't appear. So here's how to do it. First, visit the official Windows 11 download site. Scroll down and download the Windows 11 ISO image. Make sure you choose the same language as your current Windows 10. Once the ISO file is downloaded, mount it on your computer. Then, hold the Shift key, right-click on the setup.exe file, and copy the file path. Next, search for Command Prompt, right-click and run it as administrator.
Right-click to paste the copied path of the setup file, then add this command to bypass the system requirements and start the upgrade. You might see install Windows Server, but don't worry, it's actually installing Windows 11. When the upgrade starts, make sure to select the option to keep files, settings, and apps. This will prevent any data loss. The process may take up to an hour, so please be patient. After the upgrade is complete, You'll see that Windows 10 has successfully upgraded to Windows 11, and all your installed apps are still there. Additionally, after upgrading to Windows 11, you have 10 days to go back to Windows 10. If more than 10 days pass, you'll need to perform a clean installation, which will erase your files and programs. To go back, open Windows Settings. Select System. Recovery, and choose Go Back. Select No, thanks to skip the update check. If your password has changed, make sure you remember your Windows 10 password. Finally, click Go Back to Windows 10. Your computer will restart and restore your previous version. As you can see, the system has reverted to Windows 10 without any data loss. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.